The binomial theorem looks at an easier way to expand a binomial that is raised to an exponent. So recall a binomial by tells us this is a two-termed polynomial. And what makes a polynomial polynomial is it's reduced to a place where the two terms, or however many terms you have, can no longer be added together. So for example, x squared plus x is a binomial. Uh, 3z minus 6y is a binomial. But 3x plus x is not a binomial because this can be 4x, which is a monomial. So the binomial theorem looks at a binomial, a two-termed expression, that is raised to a power. Well, we know that we could expand this by actually multiplying x plus y seven times, because this seventh power exponent means repeated multiplication seven times. And we could go through and we could distribute this x to all of the other x's and then distribute the x to all of the y's and become very long and complicated and difficult process. There's an easier way to figure this out though. So looking at all of the different possibilities I have, we can make this a combinatorics problem. I could realize that I could multiply all of my x's together, which would give me an x to the seventh, and since I'm not choosing any y's, a y to the zero. The number of ways I can do this is I can see that out of a seven possible x's, I'm choosing all seven. And this seven over seven is a different way to write seven choose seven. We'll look at that more carefully below. So seven over seven like this is the same as seven choose seven. All right, but that takes care of my x's, or at least it takes care of using all seven x's. I could then pick all, I could pick six x's and one y. This would give me x to the sixth, y to the first. But there's more than one way to pick six x's and one y. I could use my final y as the y, or the second to last, or the third to last, and pick x's from all the others. What I see though is I'm choosing, out of seven x's, I'm choosing six of them. And this pattern continues. I could choose five x's out of the possible seven, which means I'll have five x's and two y's. I could choose four x's out of the possible seven, which will leave me with three y's. I could choose three x's, which leaves me with two y's. I could choose two x's and five y's, one x and six y's, or zero x's and seven y's. So this is a different way to write out the expansion of x plus y to the seventh, and much easier than actually multiplying x plus y together seven times. All right, before I figure out what this is any further, I do want to make sure that you understand this binomial coefficient. So if I have something that's written n over k, this is the same as n choose k. It's a combination which is n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. So I can go through and do that for each of these coefficients. I can do 7 factorial over 0 factorial 7 factorial, which is just 1. I could do for this one 7 factorial over 1 factorial 6 factorial, which is 7. And this pattern can continue. You can go ahead and do this on your own if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the numbers. Here I get 21 x to the fifth y squared, 35 x to the fourth y cubed, and then again 35 x to the third y to the fourth, that was my fault, 